As Robin Sparkle says, let's go to the mall, the antique mall that is. Uh, I'm gonna check out this antique mall. It's actually a pretty big place, a lot of booths. Um, and they've kind of been building it out. And I know that there's a couple spots with comic books in it. So let's see what I find. <music> There's a lot of comics here now. These were not here before. I'm gonna spend money here. Hopefully the prices are not that bad though. Because a lot of times what they have to do is charge a lot because of the rental of the booth and all that stuff. But this is the most comics I've seen in this place for one booth. What the heck? I'm gonna go broke even more so than now. So I'm gonna have some fun here. And let's see what I get. More books, different booth. Look what come up. A dollar. These are all a dollar. What the heck? Oh no. The sticker's on the book. It doesn't stop. This is a $12 book. JLA number one with the sticker on the cover. Oh my god. Well, it's like a ten dollar book, so um I guess that knocks off like a dollar or two. Look at all these. Shadow of the Bat number one. One, two, three, four, five. There's five of them here. I might as well just get them all. I mean it's only a five dollar book, but I don't have one. And uh, I guess maybe the rest of them I can just kind of sell off, I guess. Because these are, these are a dollar each. This is the best booth. I cannot believe this, this find today. <laughs> this, I just bought like one through six on eBay for like 20 bucks. And they have them here for a dollar each. And there's three of them. There's three copies for a dollar each. Oh my God, I messed up. But I'm glad I got these, I guess. If, if they make a show of this, then glad I got these. I'm still here. And this, this is like a $20 book. Holy crap, for a dollar. At least the, the sticker's not on it, it's on the bag. I think they just throw all these for a dollar each, not even really knowing what they are. I got a small stack, a stack over there. This is gonna be an awesome, awesome haul. All right, looks like I'm done. This is pretty much all from this dollar stack. And uh, I'll kind of go through what I ended up getting uh, when I get back home. Um, this was an awesome, awesome find. And I miss these comics here. They got the Bane backbreaking book for a dollar. What the heck? I've always wanted this. That's amazing. This is like a $15 book for a dollar. Oh my God, I just stuck the tape to the Conan. I better take this tape off of here. I'm so stupid. A few moments later. So to give a little update uh, before I start going through my haul, I've been uh, testing out how to get the stickers off. About a third of the books from the dollar section uh, had the stickers. They're pretty tricky. So on a couple books, I have uh, been experimenting. One, uh, two of them came off pretty good. Uh, I did take one off of the spawn, and for some reason, the residue was like on there a lot more than the, they were on these other two that I tried it on. And um, I think it kind of ruined the book and kind of stained it or dirtied it up. I don't know if this can be clean. The only good thing is it's, I mean, it's not a key, but the bad thing is it is a spawn. 
uh, that I got for a dollar, which is to me still amazing, but looks like I got some uh, damage that I don't think is going to be able to be um, resolved here. So I thought I'd do a little segment here of uh, these stickers that I'm taking off. These stickers are like not your normal price stickers. They're actually very sticky. I'm doing the hair dryer trick and also because it has a little bit of a bar. I think this section here is not sticky so I try to cut so that way I have like a little almost like lever to uh, peel it off or like a little thumb tab to peel it off um, out of all the books this is the only one that had it on the cover most of uh, all the rest of them have them on the back side so that's good I guess but with this one being on the cover I want to try and get this off and then um, I'll go into the hall so the first thing I've been doing is I'll I'll carefully try to cut uh, this in half so that way I have the thumb tabs and then um, I heat it up Okay, so I try to heat it up for maybe like 10 seconds or uh, maybe even more. Uh, doing this with one hand is a little trickier, but um, I also notice that the sticker tends to turn black. I think these are like uh, laser printer type of paper. And when I heat it up, it turns black. Okay, uh, I got to turn off the video because I can't do this with one hand. I got to use two to hold down the book as well. Okay, um... A little hard to see on video but it did leave residue on the front cover so that sucks so uh, it's not going to be perfect um i don't think it's ever possible for it to be unless it's like maybe professionally cleaned but i don't think i'm going to do that just for these because these aren't like crazy grail books or anything these are just kind of amazing finds for uh, a dollar section but all right well for the one that's only uh the only one that's on the cover actually i think it might have taken some color off that really sucks so i'm gonna go ahead and just get this one off and uh, go through the books after shopping around i kind of found out or realized this booth is actually the booth that was at my december sale video so i think either the guy split off his collection into a new area or he might have even moved his whole thing um because a lot of the same stuff that I saw there was what I saw in the December sale. So that's kind of funny. Uh, the good thing is I think some of his books went down in price, especially this Spawn 35. Be it's kind of hard to see, I guess, maybe on camera. But behind here is a sticker that says $8. It, it might be hard to see it uh, from the camera's perspective but behind the sticker here it says five, uh, eight dollars and then it says five so like kind of like right here there's an eight dollars so thankfully this dropped three bucks uh i did always want it because of the um uh i always wanted this cover so that was cool that i get to save a little bit uh ghost rider number one i think this is volume three uh, I've been actually kind of semi looking for this book because of trent uh trent is the creator and um creator and artist behind creed and uh he's one of the first artists i've ever met in the 90s when i was a kid and it was kind of cool and it's kind of funny because he wasn't that far along as an adult because he is like supposed to be one of the youngest comic creators um at the time i think he was 17 when he created creed and he started publishing. I think I met him when he was 18. I was probably somewhere around maybe 12, maybe 11. But uh, I wanted to get it for him. I would like to see the whole run. But uh, finding this in the wild was pretty cool. So I made sure to pick it up. And of the uh, books on the wall, a lot of them were actually kind of a price a little more higher than I would have liked. This one, however, uh, from what I can tell, doesn't look too bad. I think it's supposed to be a $20 book, according to Key Collector. $10. I always wanted it. It's the uh, Wolverine crossing crossing over with Punisher, the, uh, the first fight, I believe. Yeah, the first battle, it's a Jim Lee cover. Um, I really like this book, and I always wanted it. And seeing it for 
what could be 10 10 per, uh 10 dollars off uh half price okay i'm gonna do these in kind of a semi-order kind of thing so these conan the destroyer book books i um i remember seeing these around a little bit i think there was a little bit of a demand for them and plus it's arnold so you can't go wrong with that uh it's a one uh, a two issue series so i went ahead and got the second one they aren't perfect uh they did have the stickers on them thankfully for these ones the stickers came off very good i don't even feel the residue anymore i don't even remember where the stickers were um but they're not in that great of shape uh the corners and stuff are all kind of um folded up and stuff like that so uh but i never really seen these before and i think it's just kind of a cool little run to have jla1 uh, i got that sticker off it didn't fully come off i can feel residue right there and i think i can't tell if i if i rub some of the color off or if it was part of the the drawing but um yeah i don't know i mean to have it is cool it just sucks that it has this sticky residue i can feel it right now and i'm like a little afraid to kind of do something crazy with it and then uh this spawn um 57 i put it in a bag and board already because the back is still kind of heavy with the, the residue i didn't want it to like stick onto another book and just kind of ruin uh one of these other ones for example these silver surfers so silver surfer number four not really a crazy key it's uh first appearance of the astronomer and elder of the universe 46 so adam warlock on the cover adam warlock has come to the mcu um and according to key collector this is a 12 dollar book in high grade so there is a bit of spine roll on this um but for a dollar i'm pretty happy to do that again though this is one of those books that has these dang stickers on it so uh, i'll have to do what i can with that later on number 69 this is first appearance of morg the executioner um I think I uh, just wanted to get it because it's a first appearance thing. And if they're going to bring Silver Surfer in, who knows what's going to happen. And uh, value-wise, it's just a minor key. Okay, so this is a $15 book right now. And it has an up arrow. So for some reason... Uh, okay, so this one for a dollar. This is the first appearance of... Oh my god, I'm not going to... Uh, General of the Cree. I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to try to say his name. And uh, the rumor is that there's going to be a character that's like a version of that guy. So this is uh, kind of something that went up in price because of the the movies. Uh, it doesn't say what show or movie that's on, but um, that's cool. So $15 book, and I got it for a dollar. But it does have that damn sticker. 81. So this is the first cameo appearance of Tyrant. And they are rumored to be introduced in the MCU. And this book, according to the Key Collector, is a $20 high book. Uh, this one, these are all in bags. So hopefully they didn't put any stickers on the books themselves. And then put them in bags and put more stickers on. Uh, I'll probably have to check that just to make sure. But um, thankfully... They put it on the bags. So West Coast Avengers number one. Debut of uh, Iron Man Silver Armor. Um, I think I also wanted to get it just because it's a number one uh, of the second volume. Uh, it's like supposed to be a $5 book. So nothing crazy but cool that I got it. Okay so I'm going to. I shuffled these around into an order so that I can uh, follow this better. But uh, this spawn. Uh, I mean spawns for a dollar. I, I never see that. So uh uh, the condition wise is it ain't worth a dollar it's certainly worth more than that and uh i already have a 21 maybe this one's better than the one i have um but if not just uh picking up for a dollar i mean that's that's kind of kind of a no-brainer i mean if you see a spawn for a dollar in at least decent shape that's like that's easy so this captain america it is um it has an up arrow on key collector i get i grabbed two of them because uh it has some kind of thing going on it is the first appearance of the captain steven rod uh, steve rogers that would become u.s agent 
uh, or the costume is the U.S. agent costume. Uh, and first appearance of Black Racer, Copperhead, Fear DeLance, and Puff Adler. I think it's Puff, yeah. So there's a bunch of firsts in here. It has like a, a story thing. 12 bucks, up arrow. Figured uh, might as well get both copies that they had. And yep. Power Pack. Uh, now this is one where I just won an auction on, or kind of a couple days ago, won an auction for Power Pack 1 through, I think it was 6 or 1 through 8. Something like that. I think I paid maybe like 20 bucks and to and really i just wanted the first issue and uh to see that i now got a stack of them for a dollar this is um, in key collector a high of 20 dollars and if they ever really did a show on this there was a story that kevin feige did want to do a show and then recently it was kind of shelved that whole idea of doing it it might come back it might not so who knows if this does get a show kind of around it i believe this 20 dollar high is probably going to jump up to like a 30 or 40 uh who knows but i end up getting one two and three three copies of this uh condition wise feels pretty good uh like oh this is a newsstand version and i lost a newsstand version in in ebay so this is a newsstand version, and then two, no, one more newsstand version. Wow, dollar, man. This was an awesome, awesome find. No stickers on the book itself, so that's good. And then uh, they had a stack of Vigilante books, but this was the only key. The ones that I really wanted was uh, number one and number seven. Uh, this one was a key, and of course, I believe um, the first meeting with Peacemaker shot up to a $30 book. They did not have that as well. So, this was cool to grab. Shadow of the Bat, number one. Uh, not a crazy key or anything like that. I have seen this in a graded thing before where it uh, had a good price tag for, for a 9.8, or maybe it was a 9.6. Um, so I grabbed all of them I could. I lost one because there was no price tag on one of them, and um, they were not allowed to sell me something without a price tag on it. So I only ended up getting the four here. And plus, I always wanted one myself anyway. I always wanted number ones of uh, Batman runs. And then the big one that I almost skipped, that I, I have video for you if you saw it, um... Bane breaking Batman's issue uh, back issue. Ugh, that sounds uh, that sounds like I'm saying that this is a back issue, which it is a back issue, but it's a breaking of Batman's back issue, uh, or breaking of Batman's back back issue. I guess is the right term, or right phrase. Uh, so, for a dollar, uh, such a big storyline, such a well known storyline. I remember when this happened when I was a kid. It was kind of like a big deal, and just to double check right now yep $15 high is what it's saying on key collector um so yeah it's always something I wanted and uh this is like something else this comes with some kind of cover thing because the picture I'm seeing on key collector does not have like this half uh thing right here Oh, it's an over it's a variant, and it's a fifteen high with a uh, up arrow. The other one is not even like that. So this is a variant cover of it. That's cool. All right, two thirty eight. This is on key collector a twenty dollar high. Um, origin of Frankie Ray. First appearance of Aunt Petunia, Aunt Ben Grimm, or Aunt of Ben Ben Grimm, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So twenty dollar book for a dollar. That's really reason why I got it. Is there a sticker on this thing? Uh, oh, thank God that's on the bag. I uh, am gonna be taking stickers off for like a week. Uh, Fantastic Four 247. This is a $12 high. 
Uh, first appearance of Christoph Vernad, the adopted son of Dr. Doom and heir. And appears in Dr. Doom. Yeah, yeah. So basically his son. It's uh first appearance of Dr. Doom's son. Adopted son. 257. This is a $12 with the up arrow. Uh, destruction of the Skull th uh, Throne World. Uh, skull Princess. Scroll. I always say Skull. Oh, Death of. And another Death of uh, Empress. Rakril. Rakil? Uh, so, yeah. $12 with an up arrow. Uh, maybe when something more happens, it's going to keep going up. So, get the, getting this for a dollar was awesome. I don't know if I really need to keep reminding that I got it for a dollar, but can you believe I got these all for a dollar each? Three nineteen. Origin of the Beyonder. It's only a $5 high. Uh, I think it's just because it's an origin book. I like origin books. Um, so I think for that is, uh, like my main reason for wanting to grab this one. But most of the time what was happening with the Fantastic Fours, there were so many keys in there, but they were like high as $5. And I started just trying to focus on the ones that got into double digit highs. All right, Daredevil. Uh, this is a anniversary cover. $3 high. The reason why I got it is because I always wanted to get a book with these anniversary cover things. Um, and I personally think that this cover is awesome because it's just Daredevil just staring into the, to the essentially the camera with the border. So I think that's awesome that uh, this one is like that. I think there's a couple other I saw that are um, cool as well, but not as cool as the art of this one and that's why i picked it up even though it's just a three dollar minor key 253 uh minor key uh first appearance of wild boys i'm wondering if maybe they'll introduce wild boys into maybe one of the other shows echo uh maybe the next uh season or a couple seasons of uh um uh, hawkeye or any mcu thing now that kingpin is coming into the mcu and uh, I don't know if Wild Boys are associated with Kingpin. I'm assuming so, only because Kingpin's on this cover. And um, and Wild Boys sound to me like some wild villains. Uh, second appearance of Typhoid... <sighs> second appearance of Typhoid... Mary, I'm going to have trouble saying that because I always want to say Typhoid... 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 Uh, Typhoon Mary, $5 key, uh, $5 high, nothing crazy. So my thinking is like, they're always going to introduce some, some type of love story thing. If somehow this character comes in and then they do that love story angle, maybe this book with this cover will, uh, get a little pop up. And, uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, thumbs up, uh, check out antique malls, antique stores, cause you never know what you might get. I just ran into that booth, saw all the boxes of comics, and I gasped. And uh, I couldn't believe that there was more comics there. And then it turned out they were a dollar each. And then I started finding... I think it started with the Silver Surfer. When I, when I started seeing all the Silver Surfer keys and basically started seeing double-digit high values, I was like, oh, I got to watch... Or I got to look through this whole stack of... Uh, books and uh, all these boxes and uh, i'm pretty glad i did so have a good one stay safe uh happy hunting and take care